Okay, Jay here. Gonna show you what a bad steering lock control unit is more or less like. So you, if you can encounter it, you know what is involved in getting the car running. Uh, this is an Infinity steering wheel. It's not locked. The remote does lock and unlock the doors, so it does see the remote. You put the remote. I have the lower dash panel apart. Just to show you, that's the steering wheel lock control unit. Okay. Here's the remote slot. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay. Okay, so let me show you what it's doing. If you step on the brake, let's see if I can do this with two hands here. Okay, you step on the brake, hit the start button, you got nothing. Okay. If you take the remote, put it in the remote slot, now you get the indicator, and still nothing. So now, what I gotta do to get this car started, is take a hammer. Okay, basically what I'm gonna do, is take a hammer, let's see if I can try doing this, hold on. Take a hammer, tap the control unit, while pressing and holding the start button. Now it starts. So just by tapping on that control unit, we'll actually get your steering wheel lock to operate. Okay, so now, if I shut the car off, it, and this time it actually works, so. That can get you going if you're stuck in a situation. On Nissans, they have a eight year unlimited mileage warranty for 09s with steering lock issues. For Infinities, it, this is car is an 11, so it's covered under warranty anyway with 43,000 miles, so. But that's how you get it going, all right? Thanks.